Yo, what's up guys? Toby from the Master Box Show and I hope you're having an amazing day. Just a quick video for you guys. Today, I'll be showing you the best mods to have for Baldur's Gate 3. Modding a game may seem scary for you because, you know, basically you're going to be changing game files in order for the mods to function. But trust me guys, modding modders makes the game interesting and increases the fun out of the game. Just take for example Skyrim. Skyrim has been out for a thousand years now. It's been released on a million platforms. The only platform that's missing for it is the toaster or maybe a washing machine, but you don't know Bethesda can do that. And the only thing that keeps Skyrim alive is the modding community and modding itself. So for today, I'll be showcasing the five most important mods for you in Baldur's Gate 3. There's only two criteria for the mods to make it in the list, which is number one, it should be super easy to install. Just the having the ability to read and follow instruction would be enough. Number two, not breaking or changing any fundamentals in the game. The mod should only improve the existing functions and not change anything just make everything better i'm planning to make this into a series if you guys like just comment down below or just hit that like button if you prefer and would love to know what are your thoughts about this content that being said without further ado let's get into it starting off with number one in the best mod from the list which is the native camera loader and the native camera tweak are you tired in the game's cameras limitation like dripping your character only to find out you can only zoom close enough and can't see the minute details of your amazing armor or having the camera's limited pitch stop you from those perfect screenshots girl you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal Damn. Or maybe you're just exploring an area with your camera and it can only go so much, especially if you want to have the full view of the area. Tired of all that? This mod is perfect for you and honestly, it is so good. Mod features include the unlock camera pitch which is optional, separate from exploration and combat, override lock pitch settings, override zoom limitation, Zoom step size multipliers, override camera FOV, override camera horizontal and vertical offset, controller support, and no separate executable is open source. Honestly guys, this mod is so good, I can't go back to the vanilla camera settings. Number two is the WASD character movement. Are your fingers tired of pressing the mouse every time you want to move? Want to experience something that is outside the point and click systems of the game? Or are you developing carpal tunnel syndrome by the sheer amount of clicking with your mouse? Or are you just tired of dragging your mouse across the map to just set your character's direction well WASD character movement will fix that Th this mod introduces as the name says WASD functions to movement it can be toggled on and off with just a press of the control button if you want to go back to the point and click system you can just do it with the press of a button it also automatically reverts back whenever you go in turn-based mode or in battle WASD is a nice mod especially for exploration its features include direct movement of your character's WASD keys character movement is bound to the same keys as the camera movement toggle between character movements and camera movements by default using caps lock automatically toggles combat start and end improves mouse look when rotating the cursor is hidden and as well as toggleable jogging and walking by the use of the default key number three is better hot bar 2 this is one of the best mods out there guys this mod is so good i can't go back to the vanilla version this basically increases the hot bar grid from 4x16 to 4x24 using the vanilla icon size up to 4x31 for ultra wide screen users it also has a small turn order panel that doesn't overlap with combat logs as well as the mod gives you a full visualization of all actions items spells skills passives without making you press its individual tabs manually this mod is to be honest a must install 
Coming in number four, which is better containers. This mod addresses some of the weird container UI issues. The grid is so tiny, just giving you around three by five. That's how small it is. It changes the grid to six by seven, or if you prefer five by five, sorting options is finally working and it's not hidden for some reason to reveal the sorting tab. This mod automatically shows the sorting tab as well as the inventory tab and it also includes a dedicated space for you to click and drag your items. It also fixes the awkward space for us to drag the UI giving a dedicated space to click and drag this windows. And finally, better maps. I'm using the improved icon, draggable up to 70% scale. There are four versions available for this mod, which as the name says, gives you better map. That scales up to 70%, 85, 100 to 120 with draggable minimaps. For every scale version, it also has an auto hide function that removes the map every three seconds, as well as icons, party members, allies, neutrals, and enemies are reworked. It's easy easier to figure out directions where the character looks now if you can see the icon for the newer one it has a small point included to the minimap it shows that where the enemies or where are the characters facing special mentions to the bags 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 which adds the 21 new containers and many feature stacks for your inventory management these containers are available for purchases in vendors from act 1 2 and 3 and as well as the bags 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 no story items this removes the story rarity for bags 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 to avoid transferring to active characters inventory when companions is disabled this mod is really amazing because it gives you a lot of storage spaces for your items such as potions armor weapons consumables bombs arrows you name it that will be included in the game but unfortunately, I couldn't run the mod, so there are still issues for the story items, bags, 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 which prevent the mod from working properly. And that's it guys for the mod list. I highly recommend you guys try out this mods. It's very easy to use and it doesn't affect the core functions of the game. Do you guys have another mod list in mind or are these mods the ones that you are rocking with in your playthrough for Baldur's Gate 3? Would love to know your answers in the comment down below. I'm planning to add this sort of content and make it to a series for you guys. So if you like this sort of video, please give it a like. It really lets me know that you guys are enjoying this sort of stuff. And if you have any clarifications or questions, please comment it down below. Again, thanks for the people who subscribe. And I hope I earn a subscription in the future. But if I earn it today, please don't hesitate to subscribe. It really helps me out a lot. And that's it for me. I hope to see you soon on the next Masterbox Show. Peace out. Bye guys.